In an industrial mixer, a worker pours gelatin capsules over potassium chlorate. Gelatin serves as a binder for the match head compound. The worker adds hot water before he starts the mixer to dissolve the gelatin, which combines itself with the potassium powder. The worker then adds silica granules, which act as a combustion controlling agent. He rinses the sides of the mixer with water as the compound mixture reduces. After about 40 minutes, when the mixture is liquid, the worker adds red coloring, as well as other compounds that make the match head burn more vigorously. On the splint production line, a worker inspects a batch of splintered aspen wood, impregnated with ammonium phosphate to prevent afterglow. The splints run over perforated plates to shake off any residue or waste. Then they go through a machine which automatically discards broken or undersized splints. The splints now reach the match dipping line, where the perforated steel match bar runs down an endless chain. The automatic feeder inserts over 2 million splints per hour into the sockets of the match bar. The splints first get a paraffin coating. While a mixer keeps the match head compound liquid, the loaded match bar lowers the splints to dip their heads in. After five seconds, the match bar moves back up and the head compound mixture flows down into the mixing pan to be renewed before another section of the match bar moves in. After dipping, the splints keep rolling down the match bar chain for drying. The chain loops up and down for about one hour, leaving the match head compound time to dry slowly and thoroughly. Once the heads are dry, the finished matches are ready for packaging.